I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter. Last time we discussed CoQ10 as a potent source of real energy as opposed to the jitters and adrenal exhaustion you get from caffeine. I promised you an even better form of CoQ10 for energy and overall well-being, and I described this better form as Super Premium Unleaded Plus to CoQ10's regular unleaded performance, if you want to think of it as gasoline. The gas metaphor is quite appropriate as CoQ10 and this even better form of it is the energy of your mitochondria or the energy furnaces inside all your cells. Think of the mitochondria as the engine of your car. To go anywhere, you need both engine and gas. This better form of CoQ10 is known as ubiquinol. And again, as with CoQ10, the root word is ubiquitous or universally common always occurring, ever present, ever prevalent. Ubiquinol is also known as the reduced form of CoQ10 or CoQ10's active form. You can think of CoQ10 then as premature ubiquinol. Here's a simple and quite arbitrary way to understand it. If you take 100 milligrams of CoQ10, your body will reduce that into maybe 2 milligrams of ubiquinol. Again, this is not exact science, just a quick illustration, but you should see the whole picture here. By contrast, 100 milligrams of ubiquinol is 100 milligrams from start to finish with no reduction at all. Its absorption rate is substantially better than CoQ10. Like CoQ10, ubiquinol benefits every cell in the body, strengthens the heart muscle, and is exceptional for keeping cholesterol fluid and running through your bloodstream as it always should. This is again a practical definition of good cholesterol, which we'll actually go into in greater detail in another video. So who can benefit from ubiquinol over CoQ10? Really anybody, but especially those of us with any digestive issues, anybody under systemic stress, and yes, that's all of us. Every one of us is under stress. Or anyone 85 years old and older. This is how I define elderly today because we're living so much longer. These people usually often have trouble converting CoQ10 to ubiquinol, but again, anyone can benefit from ubiquinol. I'm a proponent of using ubiquinol as early as possible, especially as you approach age 40 when natural CoQ10 levels begin to drop precipitously. Like CoQ10, ubiquinol is fat soluble, meaning it needs to be absorbed in your fat cells and is thus taken best as a soft gel where it's in a base of fat already. You should be eating fat every day anyway. It's a great source of energy in its own right, and I'll talk about fat's numerous benefits at another time. So how much ubiquinol should you take? Again, as with CoQ10, that's an individual choice based on your lifestyle and activity level. A good rule to follow that I mentioned with CoQ10 is to take ubiquinol until you feel the energy from it. If you don't feel energy, then likely your heart is utilizing all the ubiquinol, which is wonderful, but a larger dose will ensure that all the body cells benefit. Try starting out with 300 milligrams in the morning with food. Taking it at nighttime, however, may kill your chances for a decent night sleep. Listen everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'm Jason Carter. Go take some ubiquinol and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.